Today my remote stopped working. I turned the TV on and it just stopped. My TV doesn't have any buttons so I had to unplug the power cord to turn it off. If your remote is working you must be able to see a blinking light on the camera's display. Let's open it and see what's the problem. The batteries have leaked. I'm showing the brand of the batteries but it may happen with any brand, so there is nothing wrong with it. Such things happen, it's normal, don't blame anyone, this is just an opportunity to learn something new. Don't forget about your safety, don't touch the batteries without wearing gloves, if you touch the acid from the batteries you have to wash your hands immediately. Don't throw the batteries in the bin, they are harmful to the environment, you have to return them for recycling. I inserted new batteries but the remote still isn't working, this can only mean one thing, the contact springs may be corroded from the acid. Let's open it and check the inside. There is only one screw at the back, take a small screwdriver and remove it. Be careful not to lose it. To open the remote use a screwdriver to push the small latch in every slot. I will insert one screwdriver into the hole on the back and push slightly, then with the second one I will push the latches into the slots. Push very gently, otherwise you may leave scratches on the plastic. Now the second one. Leave the screwdriver inside to prevent the parts from closing. I hope you get the idea. I'm using the small screwdriver as a lever and with the larger one I'm pushing the latches. I'm slightly drawing the two halves of the remote apart with my fingers, the other slots are hidden and you can hardly see them. There are slots on both sides of the remote so you have to push the latches one after another. By the way, this is the perfect moment to take a brush and clean the dirt from the buttons. Then put them back in their place.
To remove the circuit board from the plastic cover, take a screwdriver and push gently the contact spring. Now you can see how the inner contact spring is corroded from the leakage. I hope you can see it, it's not very bad though, I removed the batteries just in time, it only needs a cleaning. You can do so by taking a cotton pad or a q-tip and soak it in vinegar or lemon juice, they will neutralize the acid from the battery. Of course I have neither of these so I will clean the contact spring by using rubbing alcohol. I'm rubbing the screwdriver into the contact spring to remove all the corroded parts and crystals left from the acid. Be careful not to damage the contact spring. If the contact spring is very rusty, it must be replaced. To prevent leakages, remove all the batteries when the appliances are not used for a long time. It looks like a brand new one. The other spring looks good, but I will clean it too. Now let's assemble the remote. First, you have to place the circuit board. The bottom contact spring must go into this slot. Just like that. Now place the other half of the remote control on the table. Rotate the half with the circuit board and place it on top. Align them carefully and firmly pinch both halves from all sides as shown in the video. It's assembled! Let's check the buttons. Everything looks fine. Place the small screw in the hole and tighten it. Insert the new batteries and close the cover. And now it's working! Do you see how the diet is blinking when a button is pressed? Let's turn on the TV! Here it comes! Oh, hello there! Thank you for watching! Have a nice day and see you in my next video!